In this video, we will focus on motion graphics. Motion graphics are different texts or animations that you have throughout your videos. You can use them to explain who a person is. You can use that overall to introduce your entire video, to make an intro animation, to make an outro animation. And basically there are endless of different options. Inside of Filmora, you have a bunch of different, very cool presets. They are super easy to adjust and to make them on how you like them. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how this works. Before we start, with this tutorial, click the link below this video to download Filmora. Pick whether you have a Windows or a Mac computer and then just click on the free download button. A free Filmora installer is downloaded automatically, just unpack it, then it will do its thing and you are ready to get started. But now let's go back to the tutorial. Inside of Filmora, you will find all your motion graphic templates inside of the text panel right here. And then you have your own ones. You can there you can find all your presets or basically all the favorites that you have saved by tapping on the favorites icon right here. And here at the new section, you can find the newest additions to the to the motion graphics area. And then here at titles below, you can find, you know, a bunch of different categories like for social media or lower thirds and so on. But at the beginning, I just want to go back to the recommended and to the trending section. Here you have a bunch of the currently trending templates that Filmora is providing us. And if you browse through them, you will see that, you know, some titles will work for some specific videos and not all titles will work for any video, of course. But basically after scrolling through this right here, um, you will just find what, you know, something that, li that you like. And for me, when I was scrolling through these templates, I found this title right here. And this just spoke to me at the very beginning. And if you want to use this, basically it's very simple. Just tap on it and then just draw it down or drag it down into the timeline. And as you can see, then you can already see the text. If you would like to customize it, because of course the text that's inside of here is probably not the text that you need for your video. So the way and how this works is super simple. Just tap on the text right here and then you can just change the text like to whatever that you like. We can make this a smartphone filmmaking pro intro text, for example. If you would like to change the size or the font or whatever, or a different, you know, preset, you can change all of that right here. It's super simple, just by a simple, you know, just tap on it and yeah, it's super simple. You can also change the size like this. So it's super simple to use. It's super convenient. You can also change the scale right here. You can change the rotation if you want to make it, you know, whatever that you like. Basically, it's super simple. It's very intuitive to use. And yeah, basically, it's very, very simple. Another thing that I also want to show you that's very, very nice to have and that's very cool and that you will need for, I don't know, for interviews, for example, are the lower thirds animation. If you're filming an interview, usually you see a lower thirds animation where you can see like, okay, what's the name of this person and what's the role? Is it like the CEO? Is it a marketing person? Like whatever. And the way and how this works is here you can find a bunch of different presets and you can again just search for the preset that works best for your specific video and i'll just i don't know lower thirds 14 looks pretty good so i just select that and bring it down to the timeline as you can see it's then downloading it from the internet but it only takes like a second or two if we play it back you can see this looks very cool basically yeah i think it looks very very nice again if you want to change it if you want to customize it to your specific needs then again here you can just change the text. We can again make this smartphone filmmaking pro and here the text above, you can also change that. But I think subscribe is pretty nice since you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. And again, if you want to change the font, you can do that right here. You can do these for both texts. And yeah, basically it's super simple to use. If you want to change the entire position of all of this, you can also do that, of course. If you want to change the entire scale and the entire position of this, because a lower thirds animation usually is at the bottom right or at the bottom left of your video, just go over to video. Then you can just change the overall scale of the animation. We'll make it a bit smaller. And then here you can also change the position or we can. And then here we can basically also just change the entire position. We make it more to the left and then we also bring it down a little bit just like this. And then if we play it back, 
can see we have a very nice lower thirds animation. So there you have it, just a very quick overview over the motion graphic capabilities that Filmora is offering. I think it's super convenient to use, it's super intuitive, super easy to use, and the final results that you can get, they are very, very nice. In case you have any more questions, let us know, and I'll talk to you in the next one.